origami. This game was made a while back and it still looks phenomenal. Carnaby Corner North. Tuesday. 06 a.m. 200 or 0.272 centimeters of rain. Hey, a ball. Fuck your shit. Hello. That's a good one, right? My name's not so orthodox. You can call me Austin and welcome back to Heavy Rain. Picking up right where we left off, because that's how episodical things work. I believe we're a new character now. Yeah. I think I mentioned once before that I like the controls, but it makes the most simple things seem like insanely hard or just obtuse or something. It's stuff like that that I'm talking about. Just like, nope, can't open a door. Can I, can I move? Oh yeah, I, for, I forgot how to play this game. <laughs> Stairs, lead, could be lead, receptionist. Men at the desk gotta be able to help. Lead. Been looking for weeks. Hope I hit pay dirt this time. Me too, pal. Guess I better take the stairs. Lauren Winter. Ring any bells? Nope. Can't say it does. The origami killer. It's a very important aspect of this game. Oh, that Lauren Winter. Third it's floor. Only, it's only a door five. On the left at the end of the corridor. It's only a five. That man must be. Whew, that must be, must be struggling. I mean, I see a fight up, I'm like, woohoo! Maybe that guy's me. <laughs> Upstairs. Find, trying to find someone named Lauren Winter. Winters? This looks, this looks like a nice place. Oh, that, you see that skull on the wall? Right there. Boom! Oh. Don't go, don't go downstairs. There's a skull to his right. Okay, I, I hope you saw it. <laughs> Even the right door. <laughs> uh, apparently not. I think it, if I remember right, it's this one. That's what my gut's telling me. Yeah. Lauren Winter. Sorry, I only see clients by appointment. Oh, good. Wait. I have an appointment. It's fifty bucks. I don't kiss and I don't do any weird shit. Do you take fives? Five, five dollar, five? Link, Lincoln, isn't it Lincoln? I don't remember. <laughs> Put your money on the table. You got exactly 10 minutes when the alarm rings, it's over, okay? Um, okay. Can we just talk? You know, I don't need 10 minutes. That's not that kind of joke, I, I didn't, uh, okay. Money on the table. I didn't put any money on the table. You should take your clothes off. We ain't got all day. Actually, I'm not a customer. Oh, shit, a cop. I should have known. What you want? A freebie? Is that it? My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. The families of the victims of the origami killer asked me to investigate the murders. I came here just to ask you some questions about Johnny. I already told the police all I know and I have nothing to add. Leave me alone. Uh, compassionate. I understand, Lauren. I know what you're going through. Oh yeah? You know what it feels like to find your own son's body on a wasteland? Not the right words to I'm use, sorry, no. I don't believe you have the slightest idea what I'm going through, Mr. Shelby. Convince. The killer is walking around free as we speak. He'll kill again if he's not arrested. Hey, Johnny's dead, so what difference does it make? For any other child and mother in your shoes, or father, trick? Are you deaf? I have nothing to say to you. Oh, shit. Get out of here. I'll, I'll, I'll I bought pay. ten minutes of your time, didn't I? 
All I ask is that you use that time to answer some questions. You want to pay me to tell you about my son? Is that it? You can buy my body, Mr. Shelby, but my son is not for sale. Get out of here. I didn't put any money on Get the table. Get the fuck out! Okay! Can I try again? Nope, I'm leaving. Okay, I'll, I'll be going. I'm gonna take my imaginary money back. <laughs> and I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. Wait. Well, if you remember anything, the smallest detail, give me a call. I'm outie. Sorry. <clears throat> I did not remember that happening. I remember I remember what to do now though. That's not how that shit works either, but okay. Bust down the door, dip. Damn it. Dip, dip it. What do you want, asshole? Lauren, is everything all right? She's just swell. Now beat it, loser. Uh, can't do that, pal. You again? If you're looking for trouble, you found it. I'm gonna beat the shit up. Probably. Oh. Well, let's tussle. Ha! Let's go. Shelby got skills. Button that shit. Oh, that was a cool scene. You punched the microwave. Oh fuck you! Broke the table. Oh, that was a nice table. It wasn't though. Hey, that, that's cheap. Squirt, squirt with the inhaler. That'll show him. Fuck, 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 fuck. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Oh shit. Ass. How are you still breathing? You have asthma. Ow, my back. Dodge that shit. With my pinky. Somehow. I'm gonna put this up here so I can do it. Well, I'm ready to go and he's already done. I got an itch on my leg. I'll see you again, asshole. I showed you. Bring it on, bitch. Let's go. Round two. I'm good. Shelby, you, you good? Right? Better than him, I guess. Who is he? An ex-client who thinks he owns me. He was getting violent and I told him I didn't want to see him anymore. Probably a good idea. After well, that shit. You should be I careful. I saw him at all. And you should be in the be back. profession that you're in. Sorry about the mess. Mr. Shelby. Yeah. Thanks. Oh. It was nothing. And then, uh, uh, my back. Oh, shit. Got skills though. That, 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 that's a big guy. Show that much. Didn't look like it. Well, oh, I remember this part. I got so fucking confused. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm gonna try not to swear as much. I'm gonna swear if I want it, but try to keep it down to a limit. Try. Keyword. I got really confused at this part.
I love the diversity of characters, though. It gives you, like, four main characters, I believe. That guy's, like, a private detective. This guy's, like, an actual cop? Like, one's, like, a private eye and one's, like, a detective, I think, maybe? We'll probably find out. And then there's the dad, Ethan. The zone is sectioned off, sir. Please step back. Agent Norman Jaden, FBI. You step got a badge or something, Mr. Jaden? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Check. M made it myself. Pass. I mean... Yeah. I'm looking for Lieutenant Blake. Is he around? I saw him arrive earlier. He's here somewhere. Thanks. Talk to these guys over here. Or not. Never mind. Oh, these are cool. This was like next-gen shit back in the day. Watch this. Video memo recording. Agent 47023, Norman Jaden. Tuesday, October 4th, 2011. Time is 8.14 a.m. It's fucking awesome! That's okay. I can say that. <laughs> I don't want to take off. This is so cool! God dang it. I'm trying to change my camera angle and it's not working. I'm looking for Lieutenant Carter Blake. I'm looking for Lieutenant Carter Blake. That's what it sounded like. That was not a good line. Thanks. Was, uh, yeah, that. Is that like a DNA thing? Dalzell? No criminal I'm related record. to the investigation. How do you know that, though? Just because he's never committed a crime before? But this is the same way I was coming from. Lieutenant Blake, I'm Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI. I went by your office this morning, they told me you'd be here. Now if you're looking for rain, dead bodies, and highways, you come to the right place. Mike, will you tell that asshole with the bulldozer to stop for five minutes? I can't hear myself think here. Right away, yeah, Lieutenant. Please, please and thank you. Well, are you coming, Jaden? Nah. So, what happened? Some guy taking his dog for a piss found a body about 6 o'clock this morning. We don't know much more right now. Based on what we've seen, looks like the work of the origami killer. Origami? Has the time of death been established? Based on the rigor mortis, must be less than six hours ago. We should know more once the coroner has had a look. Any Sounds news on the coroner? <laughs> He's on his way, Lieutenant. We've been waiting for an hour, for fuck's sake. There are Cautions. a lot of people on the crime scene. Aren't you afraid your men might destroy some clues? It's true. You don't find proof sitting behind a desk. We're not in the habit of trampling things into the ground, even if we're not in the FBI. No. No, of course not. That's... that's not what I meant. Witnesses. Any witnesses? None yet. Given the neighborhood, I'd be surprised if anybody saw anything. Tony! I don't want to see a single shit stirring journalist within a mile of here. You got it? Yes, Lieutenant. Uh, Has identity. the body been identified? No, not yet. We should know more later today. Do we know the cause of death? The there are no more been body. Here. Chances are he was drowned, like the others. Listen, I, I'm a little busy here. Why don't we discuss all this a little later? Back at the office. Oh, no problem. Back I understand. Office. Do you mind if I have a look around? Be my guest! Hey, yeah. Jaden! <laughs> come and see me if you find anything, okay? Yeah. We're on the same team now. I mean, he did just shoot up, kind of. I don't remember how that works exactly.
put my private eye detectors on. Makes me a robot. That's what I feel like, anyway. Way too many people here. They're trampling all over the crime scene. Strange character, that Blake. Didn't seem too pleased to see me. The crime scene is compromised by all these people. I doubt there'll be many clues left. If there were any to start with. Harry County. Sample of no interest. Comes from one of the policemen present on the wasteland. There's a railroad track near where the body was left. Same as all the other victims. Okay. The body is still here. There's another clue over there. I'm gonna look at the body again. And then there's... Oh shit, there's that one and that one. Oh, what is that? Is that like following the light? Some orchid pollen. The concentration of pollen in the air is quickly decreasing because of the rain, but it gets higher in the direction of the body. Yeah, okay. I, I want to add that even though I played this game, I do not remember every little detail about it. It was a long time ago. I was still in high school when I played this game. I think I was a freshman in high school when I played this game. So that is seven years ago, seven, eight years ago. So it's been a while. Is that the same thing then, maybe? Because there was a th another thing over here. I died. Harry, comment. Sample of no interest. Comes one of the policemen present on the way. Ah, down. damn it. I... Gee, dang it. Let's go with that one. Harry comment, the victim is lying on his back. No visible Show signs me. of violence. Show me. That one. An orchid was placed on the victim's chest. A small origami figure in the right hand. Saying that Ethan had Fingers were probably closed after the time of death. The victim is Jeremy Bowles, declared missing five days ago. See reference file. Superficial Sweet. wound on the right thigh. Blood analysis suggests it could be post-mortem. Probably a scratch that occurred when the body was being moved. The blood report indicates an advanced and long-lasting state of exhaustion. His face is covered with mud, like the other victims. I gathered all the evidence I can. There's something else over here. Wait, didn't that sound be? Yeah. Go on the tracks, damn it. Dead cat. The FBI doesn't keep files on dead cats. Not yet. Well, they should. That cat was murdered in cold blood by probably a train. Okay, I think that's it. Take this off.
I can go now. I think. I'm heading back to the office. You stay in... Yeah. No, I've seen enough. I'm leaving too. Deuces. I'm outie. If I know how to maneuver. Don't remember which car is mine. Uh. Uh. made the noise like there was new evidence. I swear I heard it. No. I'm probably just picking up the same one, I don't know. Insect butterfly. It looks more like a moth than a butterfly. Is a moth more of an insect? Don't think, Ethan. Give me the first idea that pops into your head. God, you're creepy as shit! My gut's leaning towards insect. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's Batman. How do I see a rat? I'm gonna go with a wolf. A wolf's head. My shoulder hurts. A crab? I honestly saw the face first, but the crab is getting me. Two faces, faces back to back. Mm -hmm. Reapers. Death. 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 Anxiety. I have the results of your God, MRI God, gosh, Everything seems gee dang it. There is no physical damage from the accident. However, I am worried about your psychological condition. I know it's not easy, but you've got to start over, Ethan. You're not responsible for what happened. It's my fault Jason is dead. He'd still be alive if I'd been looking out for him. It was an accident. Accidents happen every day. It's true. You can't blame yourself forever for your son's death. I mean, I could. How is Sean? In all honesty, I probably would. Uh... I think he resents the fact that I can't live up to his expectations. I seem incapable of making his mother and him happy. And what about you, Ethan? What do you feel? I don't want to say dead. I stopped living at the same time Jason did. And that car ran into us. Is there something else you wanted to tell me, Ethan? I don't trust this guy, but... I sometimes have these... blackouts. Times when... Terror. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, I'm... I recover He's consciousness terrified. sometime later. But I'm someplace else. And I have no idea how I got there. Do you think this could be related to the accident? You suffered a massive concussion and were in a coma for six months. 
we really don't know what effect a shock like that can have on the brain. That's the end of this session. Uh, we'll continue this conversation next that's, week. That's messed up. Like, he dove in front of the car to save Ethan. And from it, one Ethan died. And he got so he got concussed and so bad that he was in a coma for six months. And all for nothing. Because Ethan died. I don't mean like, oh, well, he shouldn't have done that. No, I'm not saying that. Like, that's, that's fucked up. Like, he went so far to save his son, and it still wasn't enough. Just, I know it's a game, but I can see something like that legitimately happening. Especially with the realism of this game. Like, I have a hair in front of my face. Hey, I pulled it out. But yeah, that's you just, were lucky, Ethan. It's messed up. It's very rare to survive such a traumatic accident. I don't exactly feel lucky, Doctor. I don't blame you. I don't trust him. He looks creepy AF. Is that like half a lion head? Aren't you going to go play with the other kids? I don't feel like it. Is something the matter, Sean? No, I'm all right. How did things go at school today? The teacher yelled at me for being late again. She's going to send me home the next time it happens. I'm sorry about that, Sean. Next time, we'll really put it together, okay? Do you want to eat something? A boomerang? You know how to use it? No, not really. I can never make it come back. Can I give it a try? Let's figure it out. <laughs> Gone. Does it come back? Just, well, shit. <laughs> that, that seems dangerous. I could, you can't control that crap. It's gonna decapitate some kid. Rainbow, you see the rainbow? And it's raining a lot, so probably there all the time. People there are probably just like, oh look, another rainbow. Whoa, you did it, Dad. Do you want to give it a try? I Twice. won't be able to do it. Oh, come on, let's try it together. You gotta now, learn something. The main thing is you don't have to get the right position at the beginning. Now you gotta throw it straight and a little to the right. Hit the tree. Oh! I did it! Gonna, I did it, Dad! I was gonna smack Good him job, straight in the Sean. noggin, right? To see, boom. that wasn't so hard. Yeah. Good job, Sean. I can't do that. I thrown a boomerang before. It's just gone. walk away from my kid. Can I? Okay. Do I suggest things for him to do? Let's try the carousel. That's cool. I mean, it's not really, but let's try it. I can't. Nope. 
I'm just gonna stare at him with my arms crossed like <clears throat> this guy. This guy. <clears throat> Excuse me, your daughter just kicks me. You wanna go play on the swing? I'll push you. Okay. Yeah. Do something. Take your good <laughs> Take your good time here. I almost said God. Dad. Uh, what's this guy doing? I'd like a packet of strawberry flavored chewies, please. I feel like this is how I lost. Uh, Thanks, Jason. I'm not hey, paying attention to my child. I got you some chewies. I hate strawberry. Fuck. Thanks. It was nice of you, anyway. I can't leave on that note. At least he tried to be appreciative. He understands. He gets it. Do you want to be on the seesaw? I haven't been on a seesaw in a long time. What do you think? Yeah. I think my ass hurts and a seesaw would not make it feel any better. Please, take your time, Sean. How do I get on? Ugh. Come on, Dad, make me fly. All right. Like rain's coming. I think you better go. Okay. <laughs> you better go. I'm gonna stick around and play on the slide. That little red one. It's my favorite. You know, favorite. sometimes I remember before. I mean, when Jason was still here. Sometimes I wish everything could just be the way it was before. Me too, pal. Me too, Sean. Me too. <clears throat> Sure. Go pick a horse and get on. I'll get a ticket. One, please. That's a dollar. That's cheap.
shit. Wait, where's... What happened to Sean? I, I don't remember this, I swear. God, this poor fucking man. Ethan, man. Ugh. Okay, I'm sorry, but this video is getting very long and I need to pause it here. I will pick up right where we left off, I promise. Uh, thank you for watching. I really do appreciate you watching. Insert heartfelt uh, hope, because let's hope uh, we can find Sean. Insert that here. Uh, please do come back. Please, please do. I would uh, appreciate it. <laughs> Thanks for watching once again, and I'll see you next time.